good afternoon everyone. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Teman-teman uh, semua apa kabar? Uh, semoga baik-baik aja ya dimanapun berada. Nama saya Chandini. So my name is Chandini and I'm gonna be the moderator for this session where we're gonna have four uh, schools coming from France who will be joining our discussion today for the next 45 minutes. So we have Excelia, we have Grenoble Equality Management, and then uh, we have TBS Education and, and also uh, Isar Digital. So we already have the representative from each school today. So I'd like to introduce to you uh, to each one of them. And don't hesitate to ask questions. If you have any questions, you can type your questions in the chat box and we're gonna take it to the respective speakers about your question. So, First of all, we have Nidhi coming from TBS Education. Hi, Nidhi. Hi, hi, everyone. A very good morning and welcome to this uh, um, ESEF uh, fair. And I'm glad to be here and representing uh, Toulouse Business School, TBS Education. And um, I am based out of Toulouse uh, and um, it's uh, it's. I hope it's going to be a really great session. We are going to have some really good conversations and interactions. Thank you. I'm sure. Thank you so much, Nidhi. Uh, and then the next one, we have Amy coming from uh, Grenop Echo Management. Hi, everybody. Hi, Good Amy. afternoon. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, I'm actually uh, the regional office manager for JAM, um, Grenoble Echo Management. We are among the top 10 business schools in France. And uh, we got uh, two campuses in France, one in Grenoble and the other one in Paris. Brand new one. So it's a very, very um, sharp design located in a very uh, innovative area. So uh, for talking about our program, we offering actually over 15 programs from Betra to PhD program. And uh, well, mainly for the, uh, for the uh, Asia and Southeast Asia, um, we offering, you know, international program uh, covering the Betra to master mainly. So uh, we offering yeah uh, very well very uh, popular programs such as the fashion design lash management program which is a very popular among the Asia students and these program uh, offering really very good opportunities as well uh, in the future and also we offering other innovation and related program and so so we can talk talk about it later. All right, thank you so much, Emmy. So I'm going to proceed to the next speaker that we have today. Uh, we have Dominic coming from Isar Digital. Hi, Dominic. Hi, I'm Dominic, and I'm going to talk about uh, Isar Digital, which is in Indonesia. Uh, we are uh, a very old uh, game school. And uh, just a precision, uh, we are among uh, three business schools. And uh, the, one of your organizers was a little bit afraid about uh, what is that could uh, explain uh, in a <laughs> such kind of uh, talk show? Uh, it's a very good to for us to be there because what we want to introduce today it's a pure business uh, program, especially it's a new business program which is missing uh, everywhere in the game industry and especially in Indonesia. In a few words, I'm working in Indonesia since uh, oh, so so long, more than twenty seven years. Uh, I have been expatriated in Indonesia two times. And uh, I'm focusing on this country because I love this country and also ASEAN countries, but especially, especially in Indonesia. And uh, I hope, uh, because I'm working on that for more than one year, I hope that we will really uh, build some bridge between France and Indonesia, because uh, France is a, a domain of excellence in the video game. And Indonesia has a very, very big and ambitious program to be uh, to become a, a, a very great actor in the video game industry. So I guess okay. there is a solution somewhere, and I'm working on that. All right, thank you so much, Dominic, and really good speaking, like you know, listening to you speaking in Bahasa Indonesia. Thank you so much. So All right, yeah. and then last but not least, we have Excelia. Halo, selamat pagi, selamat siang semuanya. Jadi cuma bukan cuma Dominic aja yang bisa bahasa Indonesia, saya juga. Um, my name is Agung Syaputra, I'm Indonesian, I'm Balinese. I'm based in France, right now in La Rochelle, um, which is a city in southwest of France, to represent today Exilia, which is one of the top 10 management schools in France, top 30 um, worldwide, triple accredited. Um, we are present in four different cities, so La Rochelle, Tours, Orléans, and Paris. Um, and in which, in general, we are a management school, but we have three different um, 
specializations, uh, three different sectors in which we have business management. We also have bachelor uh, in, in tourism and hospitality. And we also have some programs in digital communications, including language also. Uh, so those are the three uh, main spectrums that I would like to speak today uh, in this session. And I hope it goes well as expected. Thank you. All right. Thank you I'm so, so much, Masagu. So yes, so Dominic? I'm not so far from La Rochelle. I'm living in Poitiers. Ah, <laughs> okay. in Poitiers. Okay. It's just next door. <laughs> so you guys can actually door, meet up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everyone. So I'd like to go back a little bit to Nidhi first. What can you tell us? What can you tell the audience about TBS education? What kind of programs you have? And, you know, if anyone is interested, um, uh, if any program about bachelor's, master's, PhD. So, you know. You can, I'm, I'm going to give it to you to explain uh, about it to the audience, please. Perfect. Thank you, Chandi. Um, so I will first of all talk a little bit about TBS or Toulouse Business School. I know uh, a lot of people out here might not know where Toulouse is. So just to give you a quick reference of, so that you can remember Toulouse when you leave this conversation is uh, if you've heard of Airbus. So Airbus is one of the major uh, aircraft manufacturing companies and uh, Airbus is actually headquartered in Toulouse. So Toulouse is not some small city. It's the fourth largest city in France after uh, Paris, Marseille, and Lyon. And uh, it's also the Euro European capital of space uh, industry. So all the major space uh, uh, centers are based in Toulouse, uh, or all major aeronautical uh, international companies are based here. And um, it's uh, Toulouse Business School is itself an old uh, business school. It's a legacy business school. It was established in 1903 and this year we are celebrating our 120th anniversary so wow. so it's 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 going to be a great celebration in the upcoming months and uh, in terms of programs uh, we are basically a business school and we provide programs both for bachelors and masters and uh, in the uh, for the bachelors we have the bachelor in management program which is basically a three year uh, uh, program and uh, we have just one intake for all our programs which is the fall intake and the next one is in uh, September 2024 and uh, our bachelor's is full-time and uh, it is uh, also we uh, the tuition fee for the bachelor's in management program is 36,900 euros for three years and uh, we offer the bachelor's in management in three tracks english french and spanish so tbs has uh, four campuses uh, two are in france that is in toulouse and in paris we have one campus in uh, barcelona and one in casablanca morocco so depending on which track you want to do your bachelor's you can choose your campus uh, if you want to do it in English, you can choose among all the four campuses. You can go to Toulouse, you can go to Paris, you can go to uh, Barcelona or Casablanca. And if you want to do it in French, you can choose uh, the Toulouse, Paris or Casablanca uh, campuses. And uh, if it's uh, if you want to do it in Spanish track, you can choose the Barcelona campus. So we have the are all our programs very customized. And uh, throughout the program, uh, you learn a lot. And at the end of each program, you have to do some mandatory internships. So mm -hmm. it kind of gives all our bachelors, all our students, a taste of the professional world even before they actually enter into one. And uh, next, I would like to say about the master in management program. So if you are a bachelor who, uh, who has already completed their uh, undergrad, they can go, uh, they can choose between our master in management program or our MSc program. So the master in management is a double degree program, which is uh, basically recognized by the French state. And um, it is uh, one of the top programs. It has been ranked 37th in the world as uh, um, by the Financial Times ranking. And uh, it's a two-year program. And it is full-time or apprenticeship. You can choose whichever you want. And uh, we give, uh, it's the same. You can start off with any one of the campuses. 
and uh, you specialize in the second year of the master in management. And in the last, I would say the MSCs, uh, they are a one, a one year full time program. And it's basically specializations. We offer uh, MSCs in 27 specialization tracks at the TBS campuses. But you also have the um, uh, um, opportunity to choose your specialization as per the campus or as per the business field where you want to study. And uh, it's highly customizable. And we have industry experts uh, teaching in as uh, professors for the program. All right. It's interesting to see that uh, you have uh, not only bachelors, but also the masters. Uh, yeah. While the bachelors, I think uh, one of the uh, you know most interesting things is actually you provide mandatory internship where exactly. students can be introduced to the professional work, uh, professional yeah. world early on before right. they graduate from the campus. And then yeah. uh, if they are choosing the master's degree, they can pick between you know the management one or the MSc. The management one it lasts for for two years and so, the MSc for one year. Yes, yeah, so the MSc is for one year. The MIM includes the MSc. So as I said, that the oh. MIM is a double degree program. So yeah. the student gets two degrees. One is the general management degree and one is the specialization MSc degree, which they get in the right. second year of their master's in management. And right. uh, as for it's in the bachelor's, same as the fa uh, for uh, master in management as well. You have two mandatory internships that you have to do. The You have to do a mandatory three months internship uh, at the end of year one and a mandatory six months internship at the end of year two. And okay. if the student uh, wishes to take a gap year, they can do that as well uh, between their first year and the second year in the master okay. in management. So okay. this optional gap year, if during this gap year, if they've got an internship, they can do an internship for the entire year. Or if they have a business idea, we have a dedicated incubator called uh, TBS Seeds, uh, which basically helps students to um, uh, give uh, a work on their startup project. Or if they have a humanitarian mission, they can do that as well during the optional gap year. But it's completely optional. So, and All then right. in that case, the MIM becomes a three-year program because you've taken a gap year between the year one and year two. All right. Okay. So, gap year is possible where they can explore different opportunities from internship and then, you know, incubating uh, their ideas for business as well. All right. Exactly. Thank you so much, Niri. Thank uh, you. I would like to uh, go ahead to uh, Isaac Digital, perhaps. Dominic, we have Dominic over here. So yes. uh, what can yep. you share about Isaac Digital? What is exactly Isaac Digital and what kind of programs just, you just, offer to the just students? A few, things, a few things about Toulouse. Toulouse is also the capital of Violet. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Beautiful France. <laughs> I, I spent some time in Toulouse years ago. So uh, uh, this this uh, this city is already a lovely city. Anyway, uh, is that digital? Is that digital? Is one of the oldest, uh, eldest uh, school in the game, uh, game video game industry. Uh, we have more than twenty two years uh, now. Uh, it has created. In, it has been created in two thousand one. Uh, twenty two years of higher education in creative and technological careers in video game, three uh, D, uh, FX, uh, animation, and. Uh, uh, Isart is also an international school because based in Paris, in Nice, a new campus is Nice now, Montreal in Canada, and uh, we have also some uh, partnership and uh, research, research uh, operation with Tokyo University of Technology. Anyway, uh, this is uh, we have 2,000, 2000 students today uh, on the three continents, uh, America, Asia, and Europe, and it's a unique alliance of uh, tech creativity, technical skills, and a business. And today, my main concern in the business. Uh, let's talk about a few few figures about uh, about uh, the video game industry. Uh, today, it's the most important business in the entertainment industry. It's more than two two hundred billion US dollar last year. It's more than the cine, the cine, more than OTT players, more than any any other entertainment uh, industry. And is growing every year, every year, especially in Indonesia. I will talk about Indonesia a little bit later. Uh, the main difference between the video uh, industry and the gaming industry, if you have some kids, just you you will understand very very quickly what I explain. In the I, I was working in the OTT domain before in the video industry. 
your kids and even uh, the parents sometimes when you have a new a new blockbuster a new movie what you are doing first you are trying to find the illegal uh, link the illegal stream to avoid to pay for this uh, for this uh, stream everyone has done that for the for the gaming industry for the game industry video game everything everyone pay without any 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 doubt, without any uh, idea about uh, how to bypass the, 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 the things. The two activities are a little bit different, but uh, paying gamers, it's really, uh, which allow to this industry to be to be so, so powerful today. And in 2023, we have two generations of gamers. The first games appear so at the end of the last century. And uh, today, uh, these people who started years ago, they are parents. They have some kids mm. and they continue to play. It means you have two generations yeah. of, of gamers today, the parents and the kids. And uh, uh, the industry is focusing especially on this, uh, on this uh, family, family gamers uh, versus the art gamers who are people spending hours and hours per day on the games. It's another, it's another kind of population. Uh, let's talk about uh, uh, Indonesia. Indonesia, the turnover, the turnover last year was almost a two billion US dollar uh, turnover. Uh, in just for to compare, in two thousand nineteen, <clears throat> sorry, in two thousand nineteen, it was one point thirty three billion US dollar. So you see how growing fast it is. And it's continued. So there is a very ambitious program today in uh, in Indonesia, which is a 3,000 game talents project to accelerate the growth of the uh, Indonesian video uh, game industry. Uh, 68 million paying gamers, and only 1% of the game are developed in Indonesia. Yeah. So that's the, the statement. And uh, that's uh, what has been decided uh, by the end of 2021 uh, to promote uh, Indonesian industry of a game. So when you want to promote an industry, the first step is to start by the training and education. Yeah. It's what, what, where we are today. Uh, okay, so Isart is providing uh, also a BBA, uh, from BBA to a master in the different profession of uh, the game industry. Uh, we are talking about game art. Game art is the people who are going to design the, 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 the landscape, uh, the, 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 all, the, all the play. Yeah, the graphic. We have a game design, and we have a design and programming, and we have game animation. And uh, today, uh, after three years, you have a BBA in game, uh, game uh, programming, game design and programming, or game design itself. Or, and also, we have a specialty in uh, music and sound design, which is also mm. unique in, in the French school. I'm talking about the French school because I, and a little bit about Spanish. And we have also a master, some different master. And the one we want to promote today, it's, uh, it's a very, very specific master. It's an MSc in game and creative management. What's, what's that? Uh, Today, the industry, we are working very, very closely and permanently with the industry. And uh, we have, uh, we have uh, a statement and uh, the sector, this sector is facing to a shortage of managers, trade in monetization, technique, innovative digital marketing strategy and data. Pure business. Yeah. We are able to create a game. Uh, they are very good because during the during the training, the, the five years training, they have uh, they have worked with the different uh, components of a, of a game project. They know everywhere. They have a three sixty degrees vision. But okay, you can have the most beautiful game of the world if you if you let the the, the game in in your in your room. Make no sense. So mm -hmm. yeah. from how to monetize? Monetization is very, very important. How to promote uh, and how to follow after uh, the life cycle of this uh, of this game. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's what we prepare with this uh, master, specific master. And it will allow to develop your marketing uh, skills, your management skills, 
your data, data, data mining skills also, because using the data for a better marketing, better analysis of the player behavior and so on and so on is very, very critical today. And, uh, and the monetization is, is very, it's, it's a key, it's a key commercial policy to adapt to a local context because we don't sell a, a, a game on the same way in Indonesia than, than in, in Europe or in the US or in Argentina. And, uh, how to increase uh, the monetization uh, and uh, to take in, in consideration the local cultures and so on. Uh, this is this unique ecosystem we are going to promote, uh, we're promoting now. Uh, it has been elaborated in collaboration with the studios like Ubisoft, like uh, okay. uh, our main one, our main, uh, our main, uh, our main sponsor is uh, Kim Tran, the VP strategy, uh, VP marketing and business development of Ubisoft. So we have a permanent discussion with all the studios, not only not only Ubisoft, also with independent uh, studios and uh, with global industry. Uh, why today I would like to focus on this uh, MSC is because it's a new MSC. Yeah. It's uh, provided in Nice uh, campus, and it's a full program in English, 100% in English. Okay. And I guess that is important because uh, and Nice is also it's a very multicultural city where it's a, what I will say in bracket, English spoken city. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Dominic. So you're, uh, you mentioned about the uh, BBA. So you have you know different programs in game art, game design, game animation, programming, even music and sound design, but also the masters in uh, game game and creative management. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, yes. game so it's located creative. in Nice. Yes, it is located and in Nice, and you focus on monetization, uh, promotion, and then marketing, uh, and so on about the game industry in general. And you mentioned about the partnerships with, uh, you know, with the with Ubisoft, which is uh, one of the the, the leading players in the industry as well. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Dominic. I would like to move ahead to uh, Amy at this point. Hi, Amy. Hi. All right, so what can you share with the audience about the programs in particular, about the bachelor's, about the master's? Well, uh, our program is actually um, all of our program. This is a one, one thing that uh, I think um, I would need to mention. All of our program are recognized by the, by the, uh, by the states. So it's a national program, no matter the international MSc program or the Gohan Degola program, a traditional one, and our bachelor program. So uh, we offering a four-year program uh, for bachelor. Uh, so this is going to be newly uh, program uh, because of for the requirement from the uh, CGE. So uh, we uh, previously we offer three year program. So one year uh, we're offering the business courses, second year the management courses, third year we're offering the uh, specialization directions. So uh, we're offering student could study, uh, study uh, global management, fashion design, in innovation, and also finance and fashion design, large management. So, so we got uh, six different uh, directions. And so that was the previous uh, better program. Uh, but um, but uh, this year, we're going to um, we're going to change its format into uh, four years within all uh, like uh, new yeah. contents and also more opportunities for students to do the internship. So this will be a, a very uh, attractive one. And uh, like the other, you know, four-year program, students could only take a, a one-year master program to get a master degree. So altogether five years. Uh, so we're offering mm -hmm. a um, master program and um, two years, uh, the Gola program, and, but uh, the students can also take a gap year to take an internship, a double degree, and a, a lot of opportunities during the course. And this is the traditional one, um, the, the Gohan Gola program. So students uh, without any working experience or grad newly graduate from the uh, bachelor uh, uh, study, they can apply, um, especially they have any like a uh, plan or maybe to develop in the uh, the uh, European and uh, uh, French companies. And this will, will be a very good uh, choice for them. Uh, if the students without any business background, uh, they can also choose this general management program. And uh, in, in the second year, they can choose you know, different uh, directions as well. And uh, for students with a three-year bachelor program, um, they have to apply to apply this two-year program 
uh, master mm. program. But if a student graduates with four year bachelor program, they can uh, apply the short track program in the different directions. So right now we offer uh, altogether uh, eighteen, you know, uh, master master programs, uh, master programs. And uh, those, uh, the all the program that we divided two year program and short track program, so students can apply for. And uh, the other feature of this program, all those programs, I think uh, we put innovation uh, in management into each of the program. So uh, as an, a school located in the Silicon Valley of France, um, I think that uh, the main feature of our, and also the DNA of our school is the management of uh, technology ma and innovation management. So this yeah. will be our school feature. And uh, we actually introduce a lot of new format of the teaching methodologies, innovation management into the different programs. And, uh, you know, talking about the, the program title, you can also uh, know about that is we got the MSc uh, International uh, Innovation and Entrepreneurship Program. We got the, um, uh, the uh, MSc Energy Business and Climate and Change Program. So, uh, and also the... Uh, um, some other, you know, like project management and and uh, sports and auto uh, industry innovation design management, and this one is the French track one. So you can see that uh, well, this this school is a little bit different uh, than the others is that we really focus on the innovation and technology management. So we're welcoming uh, students uh, with uh, science and and engineering background to apply for the different, you know future management program. And uh, also the other program, popular program I mentioned is the fashion design and fashion management program. So yeah, this is uh, also a, a flag program of our school. Yeah. And uh, All right. other Thank than you this- Thank so much, uh, Yes, anything okay. else? Okay, other than this uh, master program, we're also offering advanced master program. So like a bio, biomedic, mm. medical, uh, biomedical. So for the candidates, we already have the master's degree. They can apply for this uh, uh, advanced master program, which offering uh, the part-time um, study opportunities. It means uh, the students could uh, work while study. So uh, this is uh, and a very popular program as well. Students could have very good uh, uh, job opportunities in France as well. Okay, yeah. so how long is it, the advanced master's program? How long is like uh, uh, 15 months. All right, okay, so 15 months for the advanced master's program. Okay, yeah. uh, thank you so much, Amy. Uh, I'm going to get back to you later about the, and the rest of the speakers about the, the scholarships that are available over there and the, you know, the career opportunities for the students. But before that, I'm going to go ahead to Agung, uh, our last speaker for, for this for this question. So what can you tell us about uh, Excelia and the programs available over there for students, especially for international students? Sure. So um, first of all, I think students need to know that in France, there are two types of establishments. You have university and you have schools which is called yeah. Ecole. Um, and Exile, we are part of the Grandes Ecoles, uh, which is a big school, quote unquote, if I tra translate it literally uh, from French yeah. to English. Um, in management, um, we would be, um, we are currently in four different campuses. We have Paris, Tours, La Rochelle, and Orléans, so four different cities. Um, so it depends uh, up to the students which type of cities the, that you would like to choose. Um, the program itself, we offer bachelor and master's degree. Um, so in the three different sectors that I have mentioned before about the business management pure, we have the management in tourism and hospitality and also in digital communication. Um, in particular, for this uh, specific exhibition, uh, we have two different bachelor's degree, which is the BBA International for our um, business school, which is I'm actually I graduated from the BBA International um, at Exelia several years ago. And then we have our bachelor in tourism and hospitality management. That's the two main programs in English, which are available in English, and which I did 100% in English. And maybe just for Indonesian students who are looking at this um, recording, uh, it's it's really possible to live in France without speaking French, which is, I can <laughs> I, I, I can tell you this is the case for me, because when I first arrived in France in 2013, I didn't speak a word of English, uh, French, sorry. I did my, my, my programs 100% in English. 
And at the end of my studies, which is the case at Excel, I said we have, uh, you know, language programs embedded in all of our programs, regardless if it's in bachelor's or master's degree. And so the idea is that at the end of their study, students can be, you know, bilingual or trilingual for the case of Indonesian students who are already bilingual if they would like to study in France, at least. So um, two different bachelors. Um, and then we have uh, nine different masters. So we have the main program for our master is, is which is called master in management or in French is called master grand école, uh, and we have also eight different specializations in MSc um, for the ones in English are ranging from business to um, tourism and hospitality. So we have eight different programs which I cannot go through details for this uh, specific session yeah. because it would be too long, um, but in general. Um, it's really important to us to, first of all, to know about Excel as about the international exposure, because all of the programs you have a direct contact uh, with international um, exposure, allowing you to do double degree or um, an exchange program in one of our partner universities. Um, and also, you can also feel international at home because we have um, 25 percent of in our international uh, of our students body are um, composed by 80 different nationalities so we are quite international at home so on, on four of different campuses um what else um second thing is about the teaching method at Exilia. it's really important for us your professionalization at the end of the studies is really important which is why we are guiding you throughout your studies whether it's three four or five years of studies um with our um, personal development you will have uh, internships with the least. It's like depending on the programs, you're starting from 10 months to, you know, uh, even you can do two years up to uh, really 100% of um, professional experiences. Each year at Exilia, regardless in business, um, digital communication or uh, tourism hospitality, you will be having mandatory internships. And we also have something which is specific at Exilia called Humacité and Climacité, which are two main missions um, related towards humanitarian and climate mission, which all of the students have to do, ranging from one month to three months. And the goal is that at the end of your studies, you will be connected with um, our alumni network. We have 43, 44,000 alumni spread in 150 different countries, which will be ensuring you in regards to employability, regardless of the sector and regardless of your uh, activities. All right, so you connect uh, the students as well to the alumni network, just yes. in case after graduation, they need some help, they need some assistance to get a job opportunity uh, once they graduate from the school. All right, so thank you so much. Before I move ahead to the other speakers, I'd like to continue with Agung first. So Agung, uh, what can you tell us about the scholarships available for students who would like to go to Exilia? Sure. So we have, we provide two different scholarships. I mean, internally at Exilia, of course, you have different type of scholarships, including the French Excellent uh, Scholarship that you can apply. If you have a very strong uh, application, of course, we, we have been receiving students um, for this type of scholarship from the French government. But uh, inside at Exilia, we have two different types, which is the first of all is the early bird one. So for those who, who apply and confirm before March 2024 in one of our programs in English, regardless if it's bachelor's or master's degree, um, uh, you will get 5% um, uh, of reduction for your first year of tuition fees at Exilia. Uh, please note the tuition fees at Exilia ranges from 8,000 to 15,000 euros per year. Mm -hmm. So that's to, to, to keep in mind when, uh, when you would like to invest in your future and studying at Exilia. So that's the thing that you need to keep in mind. And then um, the second scholarship that we have, we have a, an excellent scholarships. It's for students with an excellent uh, academic and also extracurricular background. This is based on um, the dossier, so based on the applications. Uh, there is a special commission that is being held each month at Exilia and the waiver is 2,000 euros. The waiver is 2,000 euros for the tuition fee? Yes. Okay, it's like 2,000 euros per year or? No, it's or... the 2,000 euros, it's a one-time uh, thing when you when you confirm your admission at Exilia. Okay, so it's a one-time thing for the waiver yeah. for 2,000 for the excellent academic record, yes. right? Not only so, academic, but... because we, we like to review uh, the profile holistically, but also, you know, extracurriculars, maybe previous job experiences, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. So be it academic or extracurricular activities, if you have any any prominent achievements, for example, then yeah. you can apply for this kind of scholarship. So I'm just wondering for the French Excellence Scholarship, 
So yeah. what does it include? What does it cover? Like does it so, cover tuition fee only or it also covers the living cost? So French Excellence Scholarship is scholarship which is uh, special from the French government, which is indeed the, the French government covered the, the tuition fees and also you will have some, some stipend, uh, monthly stipend in regards to the living cost. Um, the, the amount might changes, but uh, that's the two main thing. Uh, this is attributed to students which have a really excellent academic backgrounds and also uh, other things uh, beside. Um, and in regards to application, normally for this type of scholarship, the school has to propose this uh, specific profile, this specific student towards the, 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 the special platform. And yeah. in which if you are this type of student and you think that you are excellence, I know that Indonesian students mainly, they, they, they participated in a lot of national, international competitions, which was the case yeah. for me uh, back then. Um, so eventually, if you have this type of, um, you know, achievements in your CV, and also you have a strong work experiences, I mean, why not apply first to Excelia? And after that, if we see that your profile is strong enough, we would be happy, would be glad to put your, uh, your, your, your profile uh, towards the commission uh, of this uh, specific government scholarship, yes. All right, thank you so much, Agu, for the information on the scholarship. I'm gonna move ahead uh, to Nidhi. Nidhi, are you still there? So what can you share about the scholarship opportunities as well as the uh, the professional network for, from TBS Education? Sure, sure. So um, we, uh, TBS uh, Education basically provides scholarships ranging from 10 to 25% of the tuition fee. And um, it is, uh, we do not request the student or the candidate to apply separately for scholarship. As soon as they submit their application, every application that we receive, we consider it for any potential discount or scholarship that can be applied on it. And uh, once the student receives the scholarship, they come to know about it, only they'll be informed in their acceptance email. So when they receive, when their application file uh, and their online interview has been evaluated by our admissions board, it's the admission board who decides whether uh, to grant that scholarship or that discount or not. And uh, for example, I said, like, if they apply before the 31st of December 2023, they are eligible to get a 10% early bird scholarship. And this 10% is uh, on the first year of their tuition fee. So if they if they apply for the bachelor's in management, uh, the first year of the tuition fee, uh, they get a 10% uh, early bird scholarship. And uh, we also have a, a excellence scholarship, which is for profiles which are not only academically uh, 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 standing out, but the overall profile, we look at everything. And uh, um, in terms of whether it's their IELTS score, uh, the, the, the score that they get in their online interview, the admission board looks at all those aspects and then decides whether they get the 25% excellent scholarship or not. Okay. So these are the scholarship uh, opportunities. And apart from that, I would like to also mention that uh, uh, Toulouse is a very student friendly city. So you the the living expenses or the living cost in Toulouse is not that high. It is uh, approximately you can say that uh, the average monthly expense in Toulouse is uh, um, eight eight hundred to uh, seven hundred to eight hundred euros, uh, which includes everything, which includes their um, the rent that they have to pay. Uh, plus the the transportation and uh, the fooding and everything. And uh, also, okay. I would like to point out that uh, the French government uh, also supports students uh, in terms of housing assistance. So we have a dedicated department who uh, basically helps students uh, get that housing assistance. So uh, it's a huge help from the French government and it is especially for students who are coming to study for, uh, uh, in France. So yeah, this is a brief about the scholarship. And uh, I mean, that's why we say that the, you do not need to request for a scholarship separately. We yeah. consider every application irrespective of where they are coming from. And if they get a discount, we inform them. All right, okay. So no separate registration is required for the scholarship. Once exactly. you apply, once you submit your registration for the school, you will be yeah. automatically considered, you know, to get us, you know, to get a certain percent of scholarship if possible. 
But exactly. definitely no separate mechanism for their scholarship. Okay. Exactly. Thank you so yeah. much, Nidhi. So I'd like to get back to Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi. What can you tell Hi. us about the scholarship programs available for students who would like to apply to GEM? Uh, well, we offering uh, the scholarships uh, from a uh, ten percent to to up to twenty five percent of the tuition fee, the first year tuition fee, and and also we also uh, apply uh, offer the uh, early bird admission scholarship, uh, commitment scholarship. So that is uh, generally for all students uh, who apply uh, uh, their uh, to submit the application and get uh, accepted uh, before certain date. So for the last year, for example, uh, the, the early bird uh, scholarship is uh, uh, everybody could, could apply for it if they got uh, the being accept, uh, accepted by March 20, uh, 31st. Uh, so for the commitment uh, scholarship, uh, students can apply uh, uh, by the end of uh, by the end of June. So this is uh, for the scholarship. Uh, the everybody can can apply for, but uh, we got a sp special scholarship that students can apply for. For example, uh, students with uh, engineering, uh, scientific, and uh, technology technological background students, they can apply for the STEAM program graduate scholarship. So this uh, scholarship could uh, uh, up to uh, five thousand euro. So right. it's really you know yeah, depending on the different uh, profile, uh, we welcoming students with uh, uh, that background students. And also academic uh, excellence uh, scholarship uh, up to 5,000 euro. So based on the uh, academic results uh, and, and significant achievement uh, within the prof uh, professional field that the students can also apply for. And uh, also uh, uh, for, the, for the MBA, for the, for the MBA students, they can also apply for the uh, Cross cultural and you know merit uh, uh, cross cultural. So for students, they get a very rich uh, inter international cultural experience. They can uh, apply this uh, cross cultural you know in scholarship, uh, and also the uh, um, uh, women uh, women candidates for MBA. They can apply for the women um, uh, outstanding women prof professional women scholarship as well. So, uh, so those yeah. are, are the scholarship that you can check on the uh, school website. And uh, the, well, this year the the new scholarship policy have not yet been published, but you can always find the, the information updated on our uh, uh, official website. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Amy. And I'd like to go to Dominic for this session as the last speaker for this session. And after this, I'm going to invite each one of the speaker to briefly promote your school and, you know, invite students to sign up for your school. So, Dominic, what can you share about the scholarship programs? That's great. So, as it has been mentioned earlier, we, in France, we have universities and private school. Isart Digital yeah. is a 100% private school. So, uh, what about the funding opportunities? Uh, not so not so much. Uh, the cost of uh, per year is around 12,000 euros per year. It's that's why mm -hmm. we promote only this MSc on two years. And uh, the prerequisite to access to this, to this MSc is to have already a bachelor in Indonesia, because we are talking about Indonesia today. Uh, we know that some universities, uh, like in uh, Surabaya, they already have some bachelor, but no, no master for that. So it's a point that we will discuss uh, probably next week. And uh, to limit the cost of uh, such kind of uh, abroad uh, experience, uh, we decided to promote only with MSCs. Of course, if some any student want to start by a BBA, by a BBA and to uh, to spend five years in France, is very welcome. But uh, as many many program uh, of the BBA is not a fully hundred percent English program. We have a mix between English and French, so when you are not speaking speaking French, it can be can be uh, can be a, a problem and a difficult to 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 follow correctly this kind of program. So cost twelve thousand per year, and uh, we don't have any any uh, support. Uh, it's case by case uh, at the level of uh, the Indonesian uh, Ministry of Education. Uh, I know that some some uh, other ones can be allowed for for studying abroad. 
uh, it's case by case. Uh, after, ESART has other, other mechanisms to help the student. First of all, uh, for the best one, uh, there is a kind of uh, what called merit scholarship, uh, which allows the, for the final years to the student to finance half of their tuition, tuition half yeah. of the school. It uh, means around 6,000. Uh, that's it's uh, on application. The winning students, they are identified because they have a very hard skill, a soft skill, a serious attendance and whatsoever, and professional experience. That's the first point. The second one is uh, we have also a lot of internship with uh, with the uh, game industry. And uh, according to some game, to some internship, sometimes they, they have some small salary for that. Okay, so it's not uh, it's not exactly uh, a free internship. Yeah. Another point. Another point is uh, regarding uh, uh, what I consider has a great advantage for Isart. It's to have an incubator inside the school. It means okay. uh, at the end of uh, at the end of MSc, uh, if you want to, if you have some idea of a new game, you can you can develop that in within uh, Isart <clears throat> because there is an internal incubator. In that case, Isart will support the cost of uh, of, uh, of uh, the cost of the office. Uh, will help you in the different uh, administrative matters and so on and so on. And I, I guess it's a real advantage because at the end of the MSc, you have approximately fifty percent of the students they want to go in Ubisoft or the big uh, the big studios, and fifty percent. I am talking about trends, but uh, Indonesia is also different. 50, 50 of our percent, they prefer to create their independent studio or to work in small studio or startup and so on. And uh, more and more, they want to create their independent studio. So to have yeah. an incubator, internal incubator is very, very useful. Uh, after the cost of uh, the cost of the life uh, in, uh, in France is almost in Nice it's almost the same than in Toulouse. Uh, yeah. The last digit I found uh, for from the Ministry of Education it's around uh, eight hundred to one thousand euros. It depends what okay. you include. If you include the sport activity, the cinemas, and so on, but it's, it's a point. And uh, Isart will help also for the housing. It will provide some housing assistance when uh, the yeah. student in Nice. We have a campus with uh, what we call uh, university residence, which are usually cheaper than uh, a studio in downtown and so on. So yeah. no direct, uh, no direct uh, funding support, but uh, a lot of other possibilities. Opportunities, yeah. It the cost of uh, the cost yeah. of uh, experience. Okay. Thank you so much, Dominic. So I think we have arrived to the uh, end of our session for today, unfortunately. But before we close, before I close the session, I would like to invite uh, each one of the representatives to, you know, re-promote your school and invite the students to sign up for your school. So we can start perhaps from uh, Agung from Exeria. So um, a quick reminder about Exilia for those who are staying up to the end of this uh, session. Um, Exilia, it's um, it's one of the top um, management business schools uh, in France. Uh, we are located in four different campuses, which is in La Rochelle, Tours, Orléans, and Paris. Um, and in which we have um, a lot of programs in English, including two different bachelor's degree, one in business uh, management in BB International, second one in bachelor tourism hospitality. And we have nine different uh, master's program, depending on your specialty in the MSc or in master in management or master grand école. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I hope that if you have any further questions, you can get back to me through our um, through our booth, you have all my WhatsApp and uh, email details. So if you have questions, uh, you can ask me in Indonesian or in, in English or in French. Um, feel free to connect with me, and I would be happy to help you throughout uh, your your academic project until your arrival in France. Thank you so much, Agu. And don't forget, uh, you know, for everyone watching this session, you can still visit the online virtual booth at virtual.ehav.id to get more information about each participating institution in EHAV 2023. Thank you so much, Agu. I'd like to go ahead to Emmy. So, Emmy, please go ahead. Okay. So, uh, uh... And I think that uh, our school is uh, quite unique, uh, especially in the innovation part. And um, if you wanted to to experience the new uh, 
uh, teaching methodology like live business case study, gamification studies, and uh, uh, study trip, and and um, well, you get a, a, a strong support from the career center to find a job opportunity in the future. And uh, so, welcome to 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 our school. And uh, yeah. please do visit our school website to see our brand new Paris campus and also very uh, uh, very uh, good uh, you know uh, Silicon ba Silicon Valley based uh, you know campus in in Grenoble and uh, the skiing center. So uh, welcome you. Thank you so much, Amy. So I'd like to go to Needy right now. So what can you share, uh, Needy, for the closing? Uh, so in the end, I would just like to say that uh, TBS is uh, a triple crown school. It's one of the 1% uh, of the business schools in the world with the triple crown with all three accreditations. It's uh, one of the top 10 business schools in France. Uh, it gives a truly international experience because we have four campuses. So even if you're not moving out of TBS, you don't want to do a go and do um, an international exchange with one of our uh, 200 partner universities. You can just do a campus exchange within TBS and you'll have that international experience. And um, uh, we have one bachelor in management, one master in management and 27 MSc programs. Uh, you can get more details from me through my uh, by visiting my booth and uh, uh, directly interacting with me. And um, uh, it is also in terms of uh, TBS is very helping in terms of finding job opportunities because we have partnerships with uh, companies. Uh, we have platforms where our students have access to. They can look at job opportunities. And um, we also have a dedicated career services department. And apart from that, because we have been, we are an old legacy school, we have a huge alumni network with more than 53,000 alumni uh, connected to each other. So you uh, do not have to worry. All our uh, uh, classes, all our courses are 100% in English. And um, speaking French is uh, not compulsory for you to live in France, to work in France. And uh, if you need more details, you can directly get in touch with me because I've been an international student myself in France. I've done my MBA from France. So I can ex uh, share that experience with everyone. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Nidhi. And last but not least, Dominic. Any closing remarks from you? Yeah, some remarks. Uh, for, I guess I forgot. Wizard Digital is uh, it's a uh, second school worldwide. It's a classification yeah. provided by uh, American uh, studio, American uh, association every year. So we are first yeah. school in France, second second school worldwide. First of all. Uh, Indonesian students having a bachelor is a prerequisite. And the, this bachelor can be in the tech, in the marketing, in the business. They can access and they can, they can, uh, they can apply for this MSc in two years in France. This uh, MSc is uh, provided in 100% in English. I guess that is important because speaking French uh, is, takes some time and uh, sometimes not easy, even for French people. And at the end of uh, at the end of uh, MSc, we have today a rate of uh, 40, uh, 94 percent of employment. It means that yeah. uh, none of uh, the students will will let uh, jobless. Uh, this is in a few words, uh, and uh, of course, all these points can be developed on our booths or on our website. Uh, on the website, also you can you can download some uh, some games uh, already developed by ISART uh, students and available on the marketplace. It means mm. direct link between the school and the business. All right. OK. Thank you so much, Dominic. And thank you so much for each one of the speaker participating in this session. Very well done, very important informative. And don't forget to access the official website of each institution if you still need more information. And don't forget, for those of you who are living in Surabaya, Jakarta, and Bandung, you can also attend the offline exhibition for EHAF 2023 in Surabaya is going to be the 8th of November, 8 November, di the Square Ballroom. Di Jakarta akan ada di Menara Astra di tanggal 11 dan 12 November. Dan di Bandung akan ada di Hilton Hotel di tanggal 14 November. So don't forget and check out the EHAF website as well to get more information about each one of the institution, especially to access the virtual booth. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much for the speakers. I'll see you next time. Thank you. See you. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.